One of the most common reactions used to make polymers is the addition reaction. And addition reactions can be performed under a variety of different conditions. And so we want to look at the anionic addition pathway. Now, when I say addition reaction, I mean an addition reaction in the traditional organic chemistry sense. So we're going to do chemistry on pi bonds and reactions on pi bonds. We're going to add things to pi bonds. So let's start with a nucleophile and I'm going to draw three potential monomers here. You know, they're not potential monomer, monomers. They are going to be our monomers. And so we're going to have electron withdrawing groups on these. Electron withdrawing groups are key to anionic polymerizations. Um, what are these an, uh, electron withdrawing groups? They're things like carbonyls. They, they really, these are what we encountered as meta directors in our aromatic chemistry. Nitriles, nitro groups, that kind of thing. So what's the first thing that happens? Our nucleophile is going to attack one of our monomers and it's going to do a, likely a Michael addition. So you know you could imagine if this were an ester and that's specifically our electron drawing group. Here we're attacking, attacking the beta carbon of an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. That is a Michael addition. So we're going to do what kind of addition? We're going to do a Michael addition onto a double bond that bears an electron withdrawing group. And that's going to get us to here. The formation of that negative charge, whoops, erase that. The formation of that negative charge is facilitated by having that electron withdrawing group there. It stabilizes the negative charge. Well, once we form this uh, intermediate, it's going to bump into another um, uh, one of our monomers, an, an ele electron deficient alkene. And then we will have extended our chain by one more monomer. And then of course what happens next, we attack another and we slowly build the chain as the newly formed anion keeps on attacking another electron deficient alkene. Now eventually this reaction will stop. Uh, maybe there will be a, a water in here that will protonate this anion and that will stop the polymerization. Or maybe we'll simply run out of monomer and that can happen. But in some way we're going to build up this chain and so the final product is going to look like this. Kind of a shorthand notation that we will build this chain and we'll have N monomers in this chain and then somehow this is going to end it's going to end up getting protonated very likely so here is our polymer our final polymer all polymers end up being uh, written like this here we have our monomer or our monomer unit our repeating unit and we had some something that initiated the polymerization this is our in our in this case is a nucleophile And then it gets terminated by some other group. In this case, it's a uh, protonation. So this is what an anionic polymerization work, an anionic polymerization specifically on an addition polymer. And we'll see that there are other types of addition polymers as well.